Starting Sunday, a tougher drunk driving law goes into effect in our state. It is aimed at drivers who are really drunk. 24 Hour News 8's Ann Schieber tells us what the change is and whether the tougher laws cut down on drunk driving deaths. Well, it's not so much the bite, but the teaching part of the law that advocates think is going to crack down on drunk driving, and their thinking is based on lots of historical evidence. If you're pulled over and your blood alcohol level is more than double the legal limit, 0.17, you'll be facing tougher penalties. You could face up to 180 days in jail, up from 93, and a one-year suspension of your driver's license. Under the new suspension, you can drive after 45 days if you agree to install a device on your car which will prevent you from driving if you have practically any alcohol in your system, a point oh two, a drink for some people. And studies do show that when the ignition interlock is on their vehicle, it does a very good job at preventing recidivism. Offenders will have to agree to a one-year treatment program as well. Ignition locks have not been foolproof. Drunk drivers could have someone else blow into the measuring device on the car, or they could get behind the wheel of another vehicle. The new law addresses that. Under provisions of this new law that takes effect on uh, December, excuse me, October 31st, it will be illegal for someone um, who has an ignition interlock order to drive a vehicle that isn't equipped with an ignition interlock. States started toughening up drunk driving laws beginning in the 80s. Since then, overall traffic fatalities have decreased by more than one half. In Michigan, there are 45,000 drunk driving arrests annually. Of those, nearly 15,000 involve drivers with more than double the legal limit of alcohol. Current law restricts who is eligible for the ignition interlock system, but with the new law that will change dramatically, now one in eight offenders uses the device.